YouTube. This is Dana on this fabulous Freedom Fitness Friday. We are now in week four. Um, I did take some pictures and I did document um, my supplements, food, water, exercise, food, intake, and everything. Um, so I looked in the mirror and I can see my face slimming down. And I can also see my lap. And for those of you who have been overweight, you know what's going on between my thighs don't rub together to where I can see my lap. Anyway, I'm really excited to talk to you guys about this book that I got as a um, birthday gift from my friend. I'm 20 years younger, and um, I wanted to share this book with you because I think this is something that would really benefit you in the... Um, coming year on your fitness journey. The book um, is by Bob Green, and I think he um, actually provided, um, he actually worked with Oprah Winfrey. And on the book, he has these uh, medical experts um, that uh, work with him on the book. The book is in two parts. Um, it has eight chapters, and I'm going to go through each one of them. It also has a very small acknowledgement and an index so that if you need to go back and look at something specifically, you can do that. And I believe that the book covered everything that I talked about on my fitness journey with the exception of massage therapy. But when I got the book from my friend, it was before menopause. And now that I'm in menopause, I actually go back and look at what I can tweak. And also, this book comes with a um, companion journal. Now, we can go through it, and then you can make the decision on whether you want to uh, use the companion journal. And I think it's only for about a year, but again, that's totally up to you. So now we're going to go on to the first chapter. Okay. Uh, in this chapter, they talk about obesity smoking and stress, how those things um, accelerate aging. Also, they have the recommendations for the health checks for the men and women from ages 26 and older. So I know the book talks about 20 years or older, but if we think about it, we can take care of these things when we're younger so that we won't have issues when we get older. The next chapter talks about exercise, and he talks about cardiovascular exercise, strength training, core exercises, lifetime sports and recreation. And he actually talks about it at three different levels. So depending on where you are in your fitness journey, from whether you start to as a beginner or whether you're in advance, this is definitely um, a chapter that uh, was beneficial. In chapter three, um, he talked about he talked about I have wrote my notes. He talked about calorie levels at different levels again, um, whether you're sedentary or whether you have three active lifestyles. So depending on you where you are in your journey, he talks about the calorie level that's more appropriate for you. And also in this chapter, um, he talks about supplements and what the recommended supplements are for men and for women and then the women that are at different stages in their lives. So that was also a very good chapter. Then he talked about um, your skin and how important that is, whether we talk about um, stress, environment, what we put in our body, how we work out, that's also important. Again, we think about skin and we talk about skin when we're older, but a lot of things can be done in while we're younger to help with the aging process, if you will. But definitely going into what he calls the polish, cleanse, and nourish. And also the part that I had the biggest challenges with that I told you 
about in the previous week was um, my sleeping challenge. And in this chapter, he goes over an 11 point sleeping plan to help you with sleep. Then we have the um, art of aging gracefully. And basically what I got out of this chapter, and it's one of the smaller chapters, is basically actively participating in your life. Enjoy it. Have a great time. Don't be so stuck on things that we really don't need to be stuck on. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. This was a really important chapter as well. On chapter seven, he has a 14 day meal plan and he has them at different calorie levels, whether it be 1500, 1700, 2000 and 2500. Again, um, he has them broken out in 14 days at each level. And so depending on your fitness or what your needs are, you can adjust those meals um, accordingly. And also the recipes are pretty good because it's doing something new, making your own food. And in this day and time, it's good to have recipes that you can fall back on when you need to. Now, what he does in this chapter is he puts together the previous chapters where he has a seven day um, schedule that's based on the um, activity levels that I talked about. He talks about skin care, healthy eating, and sleep. So you actually have a schedule, like what time you wake up, this is what you're gonna do at this additional, at these different times. And of course, based on your lifestyle, you can make the adjustments accordingly. And as I said before, everyone is different. So I basically used the book as a roadmap and I adjusted what I was doing based on my physical, my fitness regimen and my personalized weight management genetic test that I did based on my DNA. And I, they actually did a personal report on me that I will talk about next week. So thank you for listening. Please like comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great week.